Hi everyone, hope all of you are doing well. Today we are going to discuss a question that we get all the time and that is how do we share a desktop flow with other Microsoft Power Automate desktop users. I think this is a great question because uh, sharing is caring, right? Uh, if we have uh, a very useful desktop flow, uh, it is obviously uh, great if we can share it with other users who might benefit from it as well, right? So today we're going to talk about three different methods uh, to share the desktop flow. The first two methods uh, will require a paid subscription plan. Specifically, you will require the per user with attended RPA plan. And then there is uh, also a third method which does not require any paid subscription, right? So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to talk about the first method, which is uh, to use the sharing function uh, that's available on the Power Automate portal, right? So I'm actually logging to the Microsoft Power Automate portal. If I go to my flows using the navigation menu on the left and click on desktop flow, uh, it displays all the desktop flows that I currently have access to. So, for example, if I want to share this uh, Hello World flow with uh, another user, what I can do simply is I click on the share function, type in the name of the user whom I want to share the flow with, and then I will specify which level of access do I want to grant this user. So, there are two levels of access, user and co-owner. A user can only run the desktop flow we shall share with him or her, whereas a co-owner will have uh, more rights uh, to edit the flow, to share the flow, and even to delete the flow. Right. So maybe in this case, I just want to share it as a user. So I'll click on user and I'll click on the share button. And then you can see the confirmation message on the top to say that uh, my flow has been shared with this user. Right. Uh, if I want to check uh, who are the users whom I shared this flow with, uh, I can do this easily by clicking on more commands and then go to the detail. And then on the right hand side, you can see these are all the users whom this flow has been shared with. Uh, I can actually go in further by clicking on manage access. And here I can see the list of the users. So this was the user whom I added just now. If I click on the close, I can actually remove this user or I can also choose to change the permission that I've granted to him or her. Right? So this is this is essentially the first method which I'm gonna which I've talked about. Right. The second method that I'm gonna share with you is to export a solution as a zip file. Uh, then another user can easily import this uh, zip file into their own Power Automate environment. Right, but for this method to work, first you need to create a solution. What is a solution? A solution is essentially a mechanism for managing the application lifecycle. When you host your desktop flows in the solution, they become portable, meaning to say you can import them. You, or rather you can migrate them from one environment to another environment easily. However, do note that in order for you to create solutions, you will need a data burst which comes with a paid plan and you need an environment with a version uh, 9.1 and above. Right. So now I'm going to talk to you about how you can actually create a solution. To create a solution, you know, again, go back to the Microsoft uh, Power Automate uh, portal and click on solutions on the navigation menu on the left. Right. And then next, uh, we'll create a new solution by clicking on new solution. I will specify a name. Right. And I would specify the publisher to be the CDS default publisher. I'll click on create. And you can see that my solution has been created. Hello world. Right? I'll click on this solution. And the next thing I'll do is I'll click on add assisting and I will choose a desktop flow. Right? 
and here I will select my Hello World flow. I'll click Add. Right. And once I've done this, once I've added my desktop flow to my solution, what I'll do is then I will export this solution by clicking on the export button. Right. Before I export it, uh, first what I'll do is I will check for any issues by clicking on the run. Okay, and let's give it a while. Right, you can see that uh, no issues has been found, which is great. Um, the next thing I'll do is I will publish all the changes uh, that I've made to the solution before I export it. So I'll go and hit the publish button. Okay, again, let's uh, give it a while for the solution to be published. Right, now that the solution is published, uh, let me click on next. All right. I can specify what is the version number that one. I'll just leave it unchanged. And in this case, uh, I will export it as an unmanaged uh, solution. And I'll click on export. Right. So now you can see uh, display over here. The it is actually currently exporting the solution Hello World. This will actually take. This may take a few minutes. Uh, so let's uh, give it uh, some time to to export this solution. We're back. Now you can see that uh, the solution Hello World has exported successfully. And you can see uh, below that uh, the solution has also been downloaded as a zip file. right? So what I will do next is I will then share this zip file with the users uh, whom I want to share the solution with. And that user will then go back to solution. And then he or she would then import the zip file that was passed to him. That's it. Uh, so this is really the second method for you to actually share a uh, desktop flow with another user through using solutions. All right. The third method that I'm going to share with you does not require any paid subscription plans at all. And it is a really simple and neat solution. Right. So uh, what you see on the screen here is uh, my Power Automate desktop. Um, I have created this flow called RPA Challenge. If I were to open this flow in my designer, uh, you can see that there are actually a number of different actions. And if you look at the uh, UI elements pane on the right, uh, there are actually some uh, UI elements created as well. Uh, likewise, if I go to the variables pane, there are also some variables created. So what I'm do, going to do here is I'm actually going to go to my workspace. Uh, I will select all of the actions by using the hotkey Control A and Control C to copy. Next, I will open a text editor like Notepad and I will paste uh, the actions which I've copied into my notepad, right? Next, I will go back to my Power Automate desktop and I will create a new flow. So let me call this copy of RPA challenge. I'll click on the create button. Right. And then I will go to my main workspace and I will paste all the actions which I have copied earlier. Voila, right? Uh, and you will notice something that is really, really special. Not only does it copy all the actions, but if you go to the variables pane, it has, it has all the variables and also it has all the UI elements, including the screenshots of the UI elements. That's it, right? So I have actually successfully managed to copy uh, from one desktop flow to another. Uh, what I'll do next is I will hit on the save button. And if I were to run this flow, uh, it should work uh, as per my original desktop flow. That's it. So to kind of recap uh, today's uh, discussion, we have went through three different ways to uh, share a desktop flow with another user. The first two methods is to use uh, either the sharing function 
or to export the solution as a zip file. Both of these methods actually requires a paid subscription, whereas the third method, which is basically to copy and paste the actions from one flow to another, does not require a paid subscription. That's it folks. Hope uh, you find this content useful. And if you like, you know, please uh, like this uh, post uh, and also uh, hit the subscribe button to follow us uh, as we always will publish new content uh, every now and then. That's it folks, take care and have a great day.